Hello, I'm Martin Kvass. I'm a resource economist and I'm going to give some arguments for an economic solution to the global overfishing problem. The fundamental problem of marine fisheries from an economic point of view is that there is a price for fish on land, so once it's, one, once it's harvested, but there's no price for fish that is alive and in the ocean. That leads to overfishing because the fishermen do not have the price for the fish they catch. So the economic idea for the solution to the overfishing problem is to establish a price for the fish in the ocean. How does it work? One can issue individual quotas that give the permission to catch a certain quantity of, kit of fish from the ocean. And that permission or quota can be traded on markets and the price for those quotas gives a surrogate for the price for fish in the ocean. One can take this idea one step further and issue to individual fishermen the permanent right to catch a certain quantity of the, a certain fraction of the total allowable catch in each year. That gives rise to a so-called ITQ or individual transferable quota system, sometimes also referred to as a catch share system. With such a system in place, one can think of the fish stock as analogous to a company. The regulator that sets the total allowable catches is then the equivalent of the company's manager. The individual fishermen owning the catch shares are equivalent to the shareholders of that company. The better managed the company is, the higher the value of the shares. This kind of system is actually in place in countries like New Zealand, but in many other countries on the, on the globe by now. And if you look at the graph that shows over the, over the last two decades, the catch quantities and the total asset value of the ITQs that even though the catches have been going down, the value has been going up. So lower catches mean a higher value because lower catches are a better form of management for many marine fisheries. The ITQ system is also setting some incentives for improved total allowable catch setting. Why is that the case? Because the fishermen, once they are shareholders in the fishery, actually have an interest in ending overfishing and increasing the value of their catch shares. And that leads to the global observation that those fisheries that are managed, have been managed by catch share systems are much, much less likely to collapse than the average fishery on the globe. That has been shown prominently by colleagues from fishery economics and ecology in a statistical analysis of the worldwide fisheries in 2008. Individual transferable quotas are an economic means of establishing a price for fish in the sea. And if one goes a step further, establishing ITQs, one has an economic incentive to properly manage the global fisheries as valuable natural capital assets.